All right, guys, so you'll never know, but I'll know that we kept going and we made it to the top. Hello, love. We have phone. our rental car. It's cool. Look, you can't hardly see. The screen of my phone is on the car. And we're going to go across the Bay Bridge, which is actually, it looks bigger than the Golden Gate. But for whatever reason, you never hear about the Bay Bridge. I bet it's newer. So, like, the Golden Gate was just like, it's crazy because it was yeah. in the 30s, right? Yeah. Heading out to their bed and breakfast outside of Yosemite. We just got our room. <laughs> this place is adorable. <laughs> and um, the people are super sweet. It's a couple that um, has been doing it for 20 years and they only intended to do it for five and now they've, they've just made this beautiful, beautiful house. Um, breakfast on the porch, I guess. We're having breakfast outside in the morning. She told us to get up early because we are going to Yosemite on a Saturday, the beginning of the summer. <laughs> Probably not the smartest. And uh, this is the best part. Look at that view. Looking out into the forest. The birds. A lot of trees. Can I say hi to dad? Yeah, you say hi to dad. What's up, little lady? Oh, wow. So, <laughs> breakfast is served. <laughs> we got an early breakfast because we're heading to Yosemite today. And this is amazing. So we were told to take Old Priest Road. It would save us 30 minutes. So, yeah. But it's... It's pretty steep. It's pretty steep and pretty, pretty windy. Pretty windy. Switch back. She's so. like, you're from Kansas, right? And we're like, yeah. And she's like, have you ever driven in the mountains? didn't, but we almost did bite each other's heads off <laughs> trying to find a place to park. We weren't even arguing. No, we just, it wasn't it was even, <laughs> like I, wanna I, be just, frustrated I just at wanted to vent, <laughs> but we were out of the car, uh, it took us, what, an hour to park? Probably. Um, yeah, we were warned to get here early, we were warned to park at the, like, entrance and just shuttle in. We ignored all those warnings and just kept driving. Um, don't do what we did. Heading to the falls. It's a short hike first. We'll see what that's like and then maybe go do a bigger one after that. This place is cool. There's no breeze, there's no spray. But this spray. 
is coming all over the camera. I'm a little sad that the girls aren't here to see this. Um, it definitely is easier to get around without the girls. So, girls, I love you, but uh, when you're a little older, we'll bring you back because I think you'd have a lot of fun. But we miss you guys, and uh, we're having fun. So you think we're gonna be able to go do the other trail? Maybe an easy one. I think this is a little harder than we thought. Uh-huh. It's pretty much, hold on. I don't know if I can get a zoom in. How far down that is. So we're hopefully gonna get up to the top, go around and see some, uh, some more waterfalls. Whew. It would have been better to start at like six in the morning. The afternoon hike's a little warm. I didn't realize that we only were going halfway. <laughs> so we just figured out that we were gonna try to get up to the top and see the upper waterfalls. But we read the map wrong. This is 3.2 miles up right now. It's 7.2 miles to the falls. This was strenuous, and that's very strenuous. <sighs> we haven't had lunch, and we don't have a whole lot of water left. So I think we might head back down. So somebody told us to keep going just a little bit further. I'm so glad we did. better on this side of the mountain. We kind of want to turn back, but that family right there, he's got a baby on his back. I don't have any excuses. She's carrying the backpack right now. This is cooler over here. It is. I'm still sweating. It just going up all right guys so you'll never know but I'll know that we kept going and we made it to the top we'll go up to the top in a second for now let's go check out these falls I gotta wonder if that someone actually has gone over the falls. Scary. a little bit of perspective. We were up there. We were right above that. All the way down. Alright, where did we go? 
Oh, how do I do that? I don't know. Up there. <laughs> we top. High five. So tired. I'm so hungry. Day two. We did not go back to Yosemite. I think we're kind of scared of it now. I'm just kidding. Um, we decided to come see the big trees, the big sequoias. Where, what's the park called? Calaveras. Calaveras. Big Trees State Park. Big Trees State Park. Um, we we definitely packed more water this time. Though I don't think this is going to be nearly as hard of a hike. And uh, there are definitely big trees. But the beginning of this tree, when it started growing, which would be in the center of the tree, this tree started growing in the sixth century. And that would have started growing about the time that Charlemagne was conquering Europe. Uh, 600 years after the death of Christ. So <laughs> this tree was that old. We have other trees uh, in the, the forest of California that are 4,000 4, years old, which would be older than we started growing before Christ was born. So this is uh, these are the biggest trees. To me, they're the, one of the most interesting. This one only grew to about 300 feet tall. Wow. 29 feet wide, but there was two feet of bark which was removed. So now from that point to this point is 25 feet. Wider. Right. I don't think I can explain, I can't tell how big that is in the video. <laughs> These are seriously big, big trees. I know, I know the video just won't do it justice. Okay, I'm going to walk through one of the trees and I'm going to attempt to film it. It's pretty cool. Some steps here. I want to smack my head. Cool. This is like the kid's dream tree house. George can actually stand up in here. He's standing. <laughs> pretty cool. It's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> oh, it's like nice and cool in there, too. Killed it. This is some sort of pioneer something or other tree. Can I walk through it? Can you see the, I don't, I doubt they can see it. There's lady, well, there's like millions of ladybugs. Which I guess really isn't that interesting compared to a giant, giant tree. So we left the, the first like little camping area. We're not camping area, like the first little touristy area. They did have some beautiful trees in it. 
and we're heading down to the second grove, south. the south grove. So we went to the north grove, it's a little smaller, right at the entrance. And this is south grove, and there's like no one down here. Um, compared to the like crowds in Yosemite, this is like, I hear an airplane. They don't know we're down here. So, I guess what I'm saying is if you find this camera in the forest, it's not funny. And there's no bodies. We've been eaten by bears. Fun. That's insane. It's a big tree. It's just so big. Actually, you said something else, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. Can you see it? It looks small on here. How can I, how can we get a sense of... Loop back around. We're really, really tired from yesterday. And uh, we really don't want to go around the four mile loop. So we're trying to figure out if this is the big tree. There's another one. Th think about this has to be four miles. So we have to walk a little ways. So we're up into here. All right, let's go a little further. I just want to build a tree house up there. Ate at a really good gastropub. Food was so rich, those crab cakes. Those crab cakes. Why are you there and you stop talking about crab? I, uh, I like crab cakes. I'm really tired now. It's hard not to look up there. Sometimes you're really annoying with this whole filming thing, but I still love you. <laughs>